Okay, go back and come again. Go back. Go back. Reset, go back. Cut it. Back to one. <laughs> yeah, I, I messed up. Yeah, I changed the line up real quick. Come to the stage. Give it up for my man Tom Marshall. Thank God. Okay. It's just so much fun. I just can't believe it. You know, we all have a lot of things going on in our lives, man. I was a young man. Many years ago, I was a young man. I was getting ready to marry my first wife. Thank you, Robin. She was a lovely girl. And we were going to make love for the first time. And I pulled down my pants and said, honey, what do you call that? She said, that's a wee-wee. I said, no, it's called a cock. You can call that a cock. She said, that's a wee-wee. A cock is not as long as black. I did this. So we have a lot of things going on. It's been, you, know, you like the table, son? You like the table? Everybody likes the table, wouldn't you? One day, I was back in my car. I was on Broadway. My car ran out of gas. So I had to look at some gas. I walked down the street. I walked down Broadway. I got to the corner of the Broadway to South Land Park Right. And standing at the corner was the pavement. That was kind of disturbing. I didn't know what to do about that because it was a dangerous neighborhood. You know, it's Broadway. Pavement could get hurt. I didn't want the pavement to get hurt. So I was trying to figure out what to do about the pavement. I see the police officer. The officer, officer, I need your help. I was walking down the street, I got the corner, I found some penguin. Now what should I do? And he said, well, why don't you take that penguin to the zoo? I thought, that's a great idea. I took off down Land Park Drive with a penguin behind me. Well, the very next day, when I was standing on the corner, talking to the penguin, this police officer walked by and said, I thought I told you yesterday to take that penguin to the zoo. I told you, I did that, we had a great time. And this afternoon, he's going to take you to a park. But anyway, so I was out there. I, 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 I used to be a salesman. I've done a lot of things about it. Everybody here has done a lot of things in their life, right? I was a salesman. And one day, I was out in Lincoln Village, knocking on the door, right? And I knocked on the door, and this little boy answered the door. I said, hi, son, is your mom home? I said, oh, well, I, 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 I'm there to bother you, the yard fucking the goat. So I said, boy, does it bother you? Your mother's out the yard fucking the goat. He looked up and he said, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, kids are funny too, right? <laughs> so I was working at the bar. I've been a bartender. I've been a ditch digger. I've been a welder. Well, I was working in the bar. This dude comes in one day. He says to me, I'll bet you a hundred dollars. I've got something in my pocket that you ain't never seen before. Well, that's pretty interesting. I'm a man of the world. I was 52 years old. I've seen what there is to see out there. So I took it to that. Man, that was such a bad idea. So he reaches into his pocket and he pulls out this little piano. It's on the bar. Little piano bench. He reaches into his pocket. Pulls it to a man. I'm so talking. He says, get down at the piano and he starts to play. I thought, my job. I think you hundred dollars. You got to tell me where'd you get this? Says, well, you know, it's a building story. I was walking on the beach. I found a lamp. I bought the lamp, and a genie came out. And said he grabbed me one wish. I said, so okay, you got to tell me exactly what did you wish for? He said, I'll tell you this much: it turns to hell was not a twelve inch pianist. You know that, guy, right? It was not a twelve inch pianist. Anyway. A lot of things happen inside, right? A lot of things. I met this girl a while back, you know. We're in my apartment. We're back about to make love, you know. I went in my bedroom and we take off our clothes and we start to make love, you know. You know how. I did not realize that her head was bouncing off of my headboard, you know. I was just going up. And she starts to Are you having an orgasm? She said, no, I'm having a fucking aneurysm. <laughs> anyway, Sean, you know, I like Sean too. Everybody give my sister a hand. That's Ellen, you know the producer over here? The Ellen Productions? She's actually my big sister. Let's give her a hand. Anyway, how about that? Sean, anybody got a smart ass joke for her?